Hi, my name is Trevor White. I uh, manage the sales and customer service and do installations with EcoDisc. We make a product called EcoChill and we're here at MJ BizCon in Las Vegas. We help with solvent recovery, uh, ethanol removal, which is often a bottleneck step to uh, an extraction lab. So first you extract with cold ethanol, butane, or CO2. You then have a step where you have to remove ethanol en masse, and then you do your, your, your purification. So we occupy that center step of, of ethanol removal, and a lot of uh, equipment is made for that. You have falling film, rotavaps, uh, white film, uh, and what we've tried to do is take all the components of a rotavap and make them, make them better. So we targeted evaporation rates, uh, the load volume, uh, oil collection at the end, um, and just sort of overall man hours make it easier to operate and everything. So what we've designed, the, the crux to any evaporation system, recovery system, is going to be in the chiller. And what the chiller does uh, with, with the rotavap is it pumps uh, ethylene glycol up through the coils of the rotavap. As your vapor, as your ethanol evaporates, it travels towards the coils and then it condenses on the coils themselves. Um, now, traditionally, the way rotavaps work and falling films work is you have uh, a tank of glycol and a refrigeration line that cools that glycol down and the glycol gets pumped up. What our invention is, is to take that refrigeration line and thread it directly through the coils of the condenser so that 100% of the compressor power is utilized on the coils. And that does a couple things. Um, we have guys that use rotavaps that as they're doing their evaporation, the temperature on the chiller begins to rise and that causes ethanol vapors to go through the system and escape out into the lab, out through the pump. And you start paying more and more for ethanol. So with our, with our design system, uh, the compressor power is all given to the coils and you get more efficient recovery rates. Uh, on top of that, with the, the heat transfer capacity of stainless steel is going to be faster than that of glass, so ethanol condenses quicker. Uh, once we solved that issue of, of the chiller, we could then scale to larger volumes with the evaporation side. So we make a 22 liter, a 50, a 70, a 100, and a 200 liter system. Um, and we, we try to grow with your business too. At EcoChill on Instagram, uh, ecodisc.com, uh, you find us there.